Uh, and another happy story here to bring you guys. This is about the election in Brazil. Lula looks like he has a very large lead over Bolsonaro. For those who don't know, Lula is pretty left, at least, you know, in, in the context of world politics. And Bolsonaro is a raging right wing maniac who, frankly, I don't know how is, he is still alive because he seems to catch everything like he keeps catching COVID and having all these debilitating health problems. It's like every time I read the news, Bolsonaro has something else that's keeping him in the hospital or at home. I don't know how the man is still alive, uh, but I I hope he is out of office soon, and this poll would suggest he will be. This is in Common Dreams. It's by Brett Wilkins. Lula up 16 points over Bolsonaro as lead grows ahead of Brazilian election. With less than two weeks to go, former leftist president ahead of far-right incumbent by double digits. With, with less than two weeks remaining until the first round of Brazil's presidential election, new polling figures show Democratic Socialist frontrunner, uh, it's, it's Lula, has slightly widened his double-digit lead over far-right incumbent President Jair Bolsonaro. Brazilian pollster IPEC, or IPEC's latest survey, shows De Silva leading Bolsonaro 47% to 31% in the first round contest, which will take place on October 2nd. That's a one-point boost from the previous week's polling. The IPEC poll also gives De Silva, the Workers' Party candidate who previously served as Brazil's 35th president from 2003 to 2010, a 19-point lead in a potential second-round runoff, which is scheduled for October 30th if no candidate wins over 50% of the vote in the first round. Other pollsters also show De Silva enjoying a double-digit lead. Uh, Data Folha's most recent figures gave De Silva a 45 to 33 edge over Bolsonaro in the first round, with 90% of surveyed voters having decided for whom they will vote. That's a critical metric, too, because if you have a lot of undecideds, that means the election is still more up for grabs. Bolsonaro, an open admirer of the former U.S.-backed 1964-85 to military dictatorship in whose army he served as an officer, has said he might not accept the results of the election if he loses. He's going to pull a Trump, is he? There are widespread fears in Brazil and and beyond that a beaten Bolsonaro may attempt to to foment a I'm sorry, foment a coup or an insurrection along the lines of the January 6, 2021 attack on the U.S. Capitol by supporters of defeated former President Donald Trump. De Silva has been drawing massive crowds of supporters at recent campaign events, including a Sunday rally in the southern city of uh, Floriano Polis, where he said that when ev- every woman and every child is eating three times a day, I will have completed my life's mission. Hunger and food insecurity, which was dramatically reduced through social programs like Foam Zero, Zero Hunger, and Bolsa Familia, Family Allowance, during De Silva's first presidential term, have returned under Bolsonaro's right wing, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, returned under Bolsonaro's right wing economic and social policies, meaning they've been overturned. So, a nice little bit of of happy news to, to bring you guys here. Um, you know, Lula obviously was in jail for a little bit, was was wrongly uh, persecuted for corruption. It was purely political, uh, and that has since been uh, overturned, and he now is running again in w- what appears to be a very successful campaign against Bolsonaro, who is, you know, among the world's furthest right leaders. Um and is is a rather despicable character in his own right, has contributed to destruction of the Amazon and and far right social policies and is is very much a fan of of Trump and clearly behaves like Trump coming out out and outright saying, you know, I might not accept these election results. Really insane, really insane. Uh, But I wanted to bring you guys a little bit of happy note, uh, happy news here. To, to close out the show, it looks like Lula will be successful here in a couple weeks. We'll cover that after that election occurs. 